A Ukrainian government program that offers soldiers fighting for Russia a chance to surrender has released a new promotional video aimed at North Korean troops that have now reportedly joined Moscow's campaign against Ukraine. A promotional video released by the I Want to Live Project, which is supported by the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense and Defense Intelligence, shows images of the food and lodging they say would be offered to North Korean troops who surrender to Ukrainian forces. Vitaly Matvienko, a spokesman for the I Want to Live Project, told the Associated Press that according to official information, more than 12,000 North Korean troops are undergoing military training in Russia. Whoever wants to surrender, whoever wants to live, will surrender, whoever does not, will be destroyed on the battlefield accordingly," said Matvienko. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky claimed Friday North Korean troops are poised to deploy on the battlefield in Ukraine on Russia's side as early as this weekend. Western officials have said that such a development would stoke the almost three-year war and bring geopolitical consequences as far away as the Indo-Pacific region. Zelensky said Ukrainian intelligence had determined that the first North Korean military will be used by Russia in combat zones between Sunday and Monday. He said on Telegram that the deployment was an obvious escalating move by Russia. He didn't provide any further details, including where the North Korean soldiers may be sent. Russia has been conducting a ferocious summer campaign along the eastern front in Ukraine, gradually compelling Kiev to give up ground. But Russia has struggled to push Ukrainian forces out of its Kursk border region following an incursion almost three months ago. The deployment of North Korean forces under a military pact between Moscow and Pyongyang brings a new dimension to the conflict, which is Europe's biggest war since World War II has cost tens of thousands of lives on both sides, including many civilians. The U.S. said Wednesday that 3,000 North Korean troops have been deployed to Russia and are training at several locations, calling the move very serious. North Korea had already been supplying ammunition to Russia under a defense pact, but putting boots on the ground could change the complexion of a war that has divided international politics, with most Western countries supporting Kiev. Matvienko said that information about the project had spread by word of mouth and he hoped that the video in Korean would do the same. In this way, they will be able to save their lives, Matvienko said. 북한에서 새로 도착한 전쟁 포로를 수용하기 위해 가까운 장래에 전선의 여러 부문에서 포로가 된 최초의 북한 점령군이 이곳에 도착할 것입니다. Стана на зараз нам відомо те, що деякі військові з Північної Кореї знаходяться на території Російської Федерації і проходять там навчання. Наскільки вам відомо вже і ну, офіційно, це приблизно там налічують, нараховується десь 12 тисяч військових з Північної Кореї. Індія, з Індії зараз вже завершилась. Ми також знаємо, що деякі частини там просто кидали в ліс, якби на навчання, і їх залишали, і вони там не знали, що їм робити, потім розбрідалися, типу як дезертували, потім їх знову зібрали і типу готують як в шторм отряди. Відповідно, розуміючи це, проект Хочу жити спрацював, скажімо так, заздалегідь і зробив звернення до військових Північної Кореї, щоб вони здавалися в полон. Таким чином вони зможуть собі вберегти життя. Також ми робимо рахунок на те, що буде працювати і сарафане радіо, так як відбувалося на початку проєкту у 2022 році з росіянами. В більшій ступені чи степені інформація розповсюджувалася якраз таки за допомогою сарафанного радіо. І враховуючи те, що дуже багато військових Північної Кореї знають російську мову, тож інформація їм так чи інакше ця діде. А там уже рішення, хто захоче здаватися, хто захоче жити, то і здасться. Хто ні, то відповідно на полі бою буде знищений. Суйонсуе Чонзянг Породерен, Пьольтуе Сумьон Кунган Лгачун Кго, Тататхаго, Пальгин Банге, Суйон Демида. Суйонсуе Чонзянг Породерен, 하루 세끼의 식사를 받으며 식단에는 고기, 신선한 야채, 
빵이 포함됩니다. The news agency estimated that the promised salary does not reach the North Korean servicemen or their families but rather remains with the state. In addition, the news agency quoted the head of the South Korean intelligence service, Chang Ho-jin, as saying that 3,000 military personnel from North Korea have already been stationed at training bases in Russia, with their total number expected to reach 10,000 by December. According to intelligence reports, North Korean military servicemen have not been deployed to the combat zone yet. They are being trained in the use of military equipment and drones as Russian instructors believe that without an understanding of modern warfare, North Koreans will suffer heavy losses. It should be noted that North Korea has denied sending troops to Russia. The country does not publicize information about sending its soldiers to Russia.